Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of expanded notation. This is standard 4.2b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 16 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So we have a statement that we need to find that is true about this number right here. We've got a pretty big number, 726,483 and 19 hundredths. So let's make sure we've got that built correctly here. So we've got 726483. And then we've got a decimal. We got a 0.19 right there. And so we've got our tenths place. So we're going to start at our decimal, move to the right. We've got tenths. And we've got hundredths. And they're like tens and hundreds. But you notice I'm putting the THS, hundredths and tenths. So we've got now moving to the left of the decimal, ones, tens, hundreds. And so that's our ones period. This period right here is this group of three, because you notice after a group of three, we put a comma. And then we've got our thousands. And really, let's call it one thousands. You'll see why in just a moment. We've got ten thousands. And then we've got hundred thousands. And you notice that all three in this period have the word thousands. So this is called our thousands period. And it follows the same pattern, ones, tens, hundreds, ones, tens, hundreds. This only difference is, is in that second set, we've got 1,000, 10,000, 100,000. So it follows that pattern of ones, tens, hundreds with the period name, which is thousands. So we need to find which of these statements is true. And so let's see if we can figure out which one is true. So the digit nine, so my nine is right here has the value of 9 times 100. Well, what is 9 times 100? That's going to be a problem, don't you think? 9 times 100 equals 900. And that would mean I would put it here in my hundredths place. But it's not in my hundredths place. It's in my hundredths place. And so if we wanted to show the digit 9, what we would do is we would show 9 times and then its place value. So its place value is the hundredths place. And how do we show that? Well, when we're showing decimals, what we do here is we always put a zero in the ones place just to kind of anchor our decimal, unless there's already a digit there. But we don't just put 0 0.09. We're going to put uh, zero point and then whatever we need to. And then we're looking at the hundredths place, which means we need a blank in the tenths and that's our hundredths right there. So that one in the hundredths, this would be the correct way to show this right here. If that statement was there, that would be correct because it's nine hundredths, not nine hundreds. So this one is definitely incorrect. G, the value, the digit four has the value of four times 100. So here's my four right there. And I've got four times 100, that makes 400, and yeah, it looks like my 4 is actually in my 100 spot, so this is looking good, which means we need to show that the other two are incorrect. H, the digit 8 has a value of, so look at, they're showing 8 tenths there, so 8 times at 0 0.1, that's actually 8 tenths. But that's my tenths spot. My eight is in my tens. So they kind of flipped the tens and the tenths, the hundreds and the hundredths. So really, that's not going to work. If I wanted to show where the eight was, it's just in the ten spot. So we're going to show eight times ten. That's how you would show that. And that's the correct answer. But they didn't write that. So J is going to be two is ten thousands. And they want two times ten. That's ten. That's twenty. I need 20,000, not 20, so my answer is G.